girls. Today we're going to talk about nouns. Maybe this will be a review for you. I'm not sure. But hopefully you know a little bit about nouns already. All right, so let's think. What is a noun? Are you thinking? Well, I've got some pictures up here in case you're not sure, okay? A noun is a person. So I'm going to write person, a place, or a thing. Now, I went ahead and added another category down here because sometimes people include this and I didn't want to leave it out and confuse anybody. So, sometimes people will say an animal is also a noun. But for me, I would have said that an animal is a thing. But for our chart, we can do a person, place, thing, or an animal. So, you might hear that a noun, they might add that word animal in there too. So, nouns, um, I think are pretty easy because you can pick them out and you can see them, you can touch them, okay, that's what a noun is. But I want us to focus on today the kinds of nouns that we have. So, I'm going to divide my paper up into like a little t-chart, a double t-chart. So, I'm going to put a line here and another line here. And then I'm going to call this chart common nouns. So, I'm going to write the word common. And over here, I'm going to call this part proper. So, if you don't know what a common and a proper noun are, let me explain. A common noun is just a very generic, just the, the basic kind of person, place, thing, or animal. Okay, it's just, you know, just what it's called. But a proper noun is whenever you name it. And a proper noun is, sometimes when I think of proper, I think of uh, somebody drinking tea and they sit up very nice and tall because they're proper. Um, and so we have to capitalize proper nouns. So, what I want us to do today is we're going to make a list of some common nouns and then we're going to do the proper nouns. Now, common nouns are probably the ones that you think of most often anyway. So, let's think of some. So, a person I could think of, and I'm just going to write four right here. You might could think of some different ones. I could think of girl boy. Uh, I could do teacher. Maybe even a doctor. And there are lots of other people that could be common nouns. Like you could do a dentist, a fireman, a chef, okay, a pastor, any of those people. Okay, a woman, a man. Now, let's go down to places. Some common places, okay. So, places that you might go, you could go to school. Okay, and I'm just going to do the same thing. I'm going to do four right here, too. You might go to the store or the park. Hmm, let's think of another one. Maybe even, oh, a restaurant. Restaurant, okay? All right, so those are some common ones. Um, other places would be like church, your house, um, the mall. Okay, those are other places you might go. All right, so now let's think of some things. I'm thinking of a book is a thing. Um, let's go, oh, candy, I love to eat candy. How about, let's see, my shoes. Shoes are a thing, and let's come up with one more so we have four in there. How about crayon, because we use a crayon. Now, you could do a pencil, anything, okay, your ring, your finger, uh, the wall, a picture, anything, okay? That's a common noun. All right, so let's look at, think about some animals. All right, so I'm going to think of, let's see, how about a lion? Let's do a little one, a mouse. A little mouse. Think of some more. There's lots of animals. Let's do, oh, how about a chipmunk? I like little chipmunks. A chipmunk, and then let's do a, we'll just do a cat. You could do a dog bird, okay, any of those. Now, remember when I said we're also going to think of proper nouns. So, I'm going to switch markers because I like for things to be different colors because I think that helps our eyes sometimes. So, our common nouns, I listed those all in green. And now, our proper nouns, remember what I said? They're proper and they, so they sit up really nice and tall. So, I think of them as having capital letters, okay? They're naming these specific people. So, um, and places and things and animals. So let's give these people a name. All right, so let's start with a girl. Let's think of a girl name. I think I'll just do a simple one, Kim. All right, so I'll put a capital K. How about a boy? Let's do Ben. Okay, so notice I have capital letters. 
All right, let's think of a teacher's name. How about Miss Smith? We'll just do Miss Smith. Could have done my name. I could. You could do Miss Alice, Miss Harden. Okay. And how about a doctor? Like when you go to the doctor's office, maybe you go to a Doctor Jones. But I want you to notice proper nouns. We have named them, and now we're starting them with capital letters because they're proper. Okay. Now let's look at some places. Let's see if we can give a name to a school, okay? How about just Antioch? That's the school that a lot of us go to. Antioch, there are lots of other schools. Eastside, Cedar Ridge, uh, Southeast, Eastbrook, um, on my Woodlawn. I'm trying to think of other, lots of other uh, schools you could go to. Um, now let's think of a store. Notice, capital letters, that's what we're gonna do all right here. All right, how about Walmart? Notice I started with a capital letter, but we could do a store like Target, Dollar General, okay, any of those stores. All right, how about a park? Okay, in my head I'm thinking of, how about Lakeshore? You might go to Lakeshore Park, Brookwood Park, okay, there's lots of Civitan Park, lots of other parks, okay? And if you're going to write the word park, you need to make sure you capitalize that too, because it has two parts to its name. All right. How about a restaurant? Ooh, this is what I wish I had right now. How about some Taco Bell? Now look, Taco Bell has two parts to its name, so I had to put two capitals. So you could do Chick-fil-A, McDonald's, okay? Applebee's, Chili's, all those places. You would put a capital letter because it's a proper noun. It's the name, a specific name of a restaurant. Okay, let's give some specific names to these things, all right? How about a book? Oh, let me think of an easy one. How about rainbow fish? Look, rainbow fish. There we go, capital and capital. Okay, that's the name of a book. All right, uh, a specific candy. I can think of so many kinds you could do. Snickers, Milky Way, Hershey's, but I think I'm gonna do a sweet one. How about Skittles? Yum, I bet a lot of you like Skittles. Capital letter. Okay, shoes, like the name of some shoes. I think these are the hot shoes right now. Vans, okay, capitalize the V. Or if you wanted to write Adidas or Nike or Under Armour, you need to make sure you put a capital letter because you named those shoes, okay? How about a type of crayon? Now, I don't mean like red, blue. I mean the name that's on your crayon box. Have you ever seen this name on, on your crayon box? Crayola, okay? Rose art is another kind that um, people use, so Crayola. All right, let's think of some names of some animals. Now, this one's kind of tricky to me because I looked this up, actually, because I was confused, too. So I was thinking of names of animals, and I thought, okay, um, types of these. Like, whenever I went to cat, I was thinking, okay, well, a type of cat is a lion, and a type of cat is a tiger, but that's not what it means, okay? It means to actually give it a name. So sometimes, like if you're thinking of the word dog, and I was thinking of like a type of dog, like I was thinking of a chihuahua, or a German shepherd, or a Dalmatian, or a Labrador, a pit bull, we have to look those up in a dictionary, or look it up online, and they will tell us what gets a capital. So pretty much we're thinking of just naming them. So give them a name, okay? So not a type of lion, um, but I want us to do, um, to name a lion. So I'm thinking of a famous lion. Do you know Simba from the Lion King? Okay, remember we're gonna do a capital S. All right, let's think of a famous mouse. Oh, I got one. Mickey Mouse. Now look, Mickey Mouse. Two parts to his name, so we do capital and capital. Okay, a chipmunk. Do you know a famous chipmunk? How about Alvin? All right, so Alvin would get capitalized. And then cat. Ooh, I know a famous cat that you guys probably like to read about. His name is Pete. Pete the cat, a grumpy cat. I've looked at lots of videos with a grumpy cat. So, um, our nouns, remember, can be put into a common 
or a proper category, okay? So nouns can be common or proper. Common means that they're just regular words, okay? Nothing special about them. Proper means that they, that's their name, okay? They're more specific. So, what I want you to do today is I want you to think of some common and proper nouns, and this is how I want you to do it, okay? I think it's really easy to be able to set things up in a chart. So, for you to practice, this is what I want you to do. I want you to get a piece of paper, and you can divide it up just like how I did mine, and I want you to put it into like a double T chart. Got it? All right, now I'm gonna do this in steps because if I said go back and draw that, you're gonna be like, whoa, Miss Alice, that's hard. So I'm gonna do it in steps. This is your first step, okay? The next step, I want you to write at the top, common and proper, and then over here at the side one, you can put a question mark because the question mark just means what kind of noun that we're gonna put there, okay? Okay, so that's the next step. Your next step is to divide your T, your double T chart, up into these little boxes. So after you have your little double T's, you're gonna draw one, two, three. And then you'll have a place for one, two, three, four kinds of nouns, okay? And then, you're almost finished. You're gonna draw a person, a place, a thing, and an animal. Now, if you could do four in each one, oh my goodness, that would be awesome. But you don't have to do that, okay? I want you to just do one or two, okay? So think of a common noun to put here and then give it a name, okay? Think of a common, remember this is gonna be place, and then give it a name. So if you did like beach, you could name it Daytona Beach, okay? Um, think of a thing and then give it a name. And then I want you to think of an animal and give it a name. Now remember the animals are a little tricky. I want you to actually give it a name like you were gonna call it something, okay? So if you wrote dog, you could name it Fuzzy or Spot, okay? So don't do dog and then write Labrador, okay? Because those are tricky and we would have to look that up in the dictionary, okay? So I'm having you practice nouns because this is really important. When you're writing, you need to be able to know which ones to capitalize and which ones not to capitalize. Really important, okay? All right, so you have an assignment. I want you to see if you can come up with common and proper nouns. I know you can do it. I hope you had fun today. Bye.